opinions on fractions and limits? Let's go ahead and find the derivative of 2 over x plus 3 using the limit definition of a derivative. We want to go ahead and find f of x plus h, so everywhere we see an x, we're going to replace that with x plus h. Now we can plug this into our limit definition. We have f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. We want to combine the numerator into one fraction, so we're going to do that by making a common denominator. We're going to multiply this left fraction by the denominator of the second fraction, but whatever we multiply to the denominator, we also need to multiply to the numerator. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the second fraction. So now we can go ahead and multiply this first fraction minus the second fraction, all divided by 8. Now that the fractions in the numerator have the same denominator, we can go ahead and combine those. But don't forget, we need to distribute that minus sign. This helps us out because now we have some terms that cancel out. So now what we're left with is negative 2h in the numerator. Let's go ahead and rewrite this. I'm going to bring this h over as 1 over h, and we're going to multiply it by the numerator. And we can see here this helps us out because these h's cancel out. Now all we're left with is that negative 2 in the numerator, and we can go ahead and evaluate the limit as h approaches 0. What we're left with is negative 2 over x plus 3 quantity squared, and this is our final answer.